Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so excited because today I'm going to be unboxing a brand new style from Aesthetica. This is Verona and my color is RH1226 RT4. Currently I'm wearing Hudson, also brand new from Aesthetica. This is in the color 8. 12. This one was provided for me by Wig Studio One so I could review it on the Wig Studio One channel. So if you want to see the unboxing of Hudson, if you haven't caught it yet, I will leave the link to that video listed down below. And you can or you can go on over to the Wig Studio One YouTube channel. This one I purchased myself at Wig Studio One. This, like as I said, this is brand new. Aesthetica just recently released four new styles. Hudson is one of them. Verona, Brady, which is a short style, and Lachlan, which is a long straight style. And they're all from the High Society collection. The, this collection from Aesthetica is, has a full monofilament top and a temple to temple lace front. So I am really excited about this one. It just arrived and hopefully I will have the video up for you this afternoon. Today is Friday, by the way, in case anybody's wondering. All right, this color, RH1226 RT4. I've never tried this color before, so I thought, why not? Why not give it a try, right? Got to live a little bit uh, daring over here. Here is the tag that is still attached, so you can see it. And you know my drill, I always take off the tag because I am gonna play with this girl and we'll see. We'll see how it goes. The I'm going to put on the screen a picture, uh, in case you haven't seen it, a stock photo from Aesthetica. It appears to be very curly on the stock photo but I've seen a couple of reviews and they haven't been curly. All right, let me show you the lace front and the, actually I said it was a temple to temple lace front. It's actually almost to the ear tab. So you, the lace front goes almost to the ear tab and it's nice and wide there. Here is our full mono top. We have hook type adjusters and extended open nape. And the cap is, is very stretchy. It stretches in just about in any direction, really. Uh, Aesthetica runs on the larger side of average. In case you are not familiar with Aesthetica, I always have to cinch mine in quite a bit, about half, a quarter of an inch on either side in order for it to accommodate my 21.75 circumference. This is a very gold color. What is this? This is, all right, let's take a look at the color. This is RH1226 RT4. Our RT4 is going to be that dark brown root. The 12 is a light brown and the 26 is the bold golden highlights. Please bear in mind that I have lots of lights here so you can see me and that will make the the fibers appear a little bit more shiny but we are going to take care of that i usually don't wear golden colors but i wanted to show you this color and i wanted to see it myself because i had never tried it as you can see it doesn't have the real curl pattern as we see on on the stock photos because i had seen a couple of videos where they talked about the curl pattern not being as a picture. I did contact Aesthetica. I believe it was Grace that I spoke to. If you've watched any of the Aesthetica videos, Aesthetica designs on YouTube, Grace is one of, I think she is the, I think she is the person in charge with styling the the wigs for Aesthetica and making them look as beautiful as they do. As you know, those stock photos are there so we can have some ideas of styling options. When I spoke to Grace, and as I said, I'm almost certain it was Grace that I spoke to. It, it was um, via Instagram. She told me that she did use 
the Aesthetica Sea Salt Spray. So we are going to try it with the Sea Salt Spray and see if that, and, and we're going to crunch it up. I'm also going to try to eliminate some of the shine with Batiste. This is from, I just get this on Amazon or Sam's or wherever I can find it. And the one that I use is the dark hair one. This will not alter the shine. I'm, I'm sorry, it, it's not going to alter the color, but I have found that it is the one that works the best for me to eliminate the shine. But I'm gonna tell you, honest it might appear shiny on the video but it really isn't as shiny as it as it's probably coming across and because my wigs always have that dark root and they usually have some light brown or some dark brown running through this does not alter the color it just gives it if anything a little bit more dimension now if you're working with a platinum blonde or something i don't know i've never tried this but if you wear colors similar to mine, you might want to give this one a try. Put on, I'm going to tighten it only because I've got this one on and I knew that I had to um, tighten it a little bit in order for it not to feel as loose. So I am going to do that before I apply it. All right, I'm going to um, put on Verona. I'm going to give it a shake. There was no zigzag part on this, by the way. They don't always come with the zigzag part, just so you know. And if you go over to the Wig Studio One YouTube channel, there are some videos uh, called Meet the Ex or Ask the Experts. And they they have one and it talks specifically about the about the packaging. All right. I'm just loosening up these fibers. Personally. I love it like this with those beachy waves kind of undone. Lots of hair here. Okay, so what are we going to do? Let's uh, let's do a little bit of styling. And I apologize that I'm looking at my mirror, otherwise I can't see what I'm doing. There is some permatees here right around the monofilament top. Not in abundance, it doesn't feel pillowy or anything like that, but there is permatees there. I'm just gonna kind of let it go where it wants to go. Something that I love the way Aesthetica does is just there, this front piece that they add, it, look, it just looks so feminine and so pretty. Actually, this one has really pretty curls. It's not as, let me move back a little bit. It's not as much as the, as the stock photos, but as you can see, there are some really nice curls there. My face from hairline to chin is seven and three quarter. It's almost eight inches. And we, what we have here is a front. It says that the bang is eight inches. I think the, I think we do have some pieces that are a little bit shorter, as you can see. And that I think that what it does is just really frames the face very nicely. As far as the density is concerned, Verona weighs 5.29 ounces. It, it doesn't feel heavy, but this is a long piece. So we... Nevertheless, we don't have that abundance, that high density, if you will. I mean, down here, it's it's on the lighter side, I would say, because we, if we if we would have a high density down here, the hair would come out to here. So when we have something like this, it's better to have a little bit more density up here just to give us that pretty form. And then towards the bottom, from the half down, our density is going to be a little bit lighter. So I haven't done anything to it. And as you can see, let me move forward a little bit. As you can see, it's already staying off my face. It's not falling in my face at all. I could add a little bit of water. I 
very, very pretty. All right, let's add some dry shampoo. So you could just see what I do and we'll add some sea salt spray. The sides, by the way, are 16 inches and the crown is 20 inches. All right, so all I do is take the dry shampoo I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there's definitely less shine. I'm adding the sea salt spray. Scrunching. Now, if you really like to have the curls as it does on the, on the stock photos, just adding some pin curls and leaving it on, wetting the wig, adding some pin curls, let it, it sit overnight. You could also add some curlers. We don't want to add any heat because these are not heat friendly fibers. This is traditional. There are also the rods that you can get on Amazon. Those uh, long kind of uh, a rubber foam or a foam rod and you could use that as well. I'm going to put it upside down. I'm going to add some more sea salt spray. Let me just let you know that by doing this, I am adding volume as well by hanging it upside down like this. But we're definitely getting a bit more curl on it. Okay, let's see what it looks. I'm going to shake it a little bit. If you wanted to cut some bangs in here, you could do that. I'll show you the lace front. We do have a dark root, a number four root, but I think the lace front is done very well. And there are some blonde fibers kind of woven in between there. Okay, so we are getting some curl here. The nice thing also about this style, even if you don't wear long styles for whatever reason you don't like them you don't want to deal with them whatever whatever the case may be i think that it's nice to have a long style so we can use for updos or we can use for messy buns or we could put in a ponytail there's a number of different ways maybe we have a special event and we want to have it with an updo that Either a stylist can do it, or there are many videos uh, on YouTube that will show how to do an updo very easily. See, and you see, I can tuck it, and it's because, as I mentioned, the density isn't really as high as you would think it would be on such a long style like this. The ear tabs come very nicely in front of my ears. There, is, there are no wigs that are going to cover my very low hairline, but as you can see, it does, let's see, the, the ear tab is right here. So if you do not have that hairline as low as I do, you're going to have perfect coverage. And we do have some, it seems we do have some uh, baby hairs coming out, which is really, really nice. I like to leave those hanging because of my low hairline on the back of my neck, but you do not have to. If you do not have that problem, you can certainly bring it up. Could add a headband. Okay, we're going to take a walk outside. So you can see RH12, 26, RT4 out in the uh, daylight, and then I'll come back.
Thank you everyone. I hope that you've enjoyed this review of Verona in the color RH1226 RT4. Let me know what you think about the color. Let me know what you think about these new styles from Aesthetica. I would love to hear from you. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day and I'll see you next time. Bye.